Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's session is hyperlinks. And starting with the introduction, we'll discuss about the hyperlinks in this session. When you're online, you're using hyperlinks to navigate from one page to another. If you want to include a web address or email address in your PowerPoint presentation, you can choose to format them as a clickable hyperlink. It's also possible to link to files or other slides within a presentation. It's easy to do all of these things using two tools. One is the hyperlink and other is the action buttons. So we'll discuss about both of them in this session. First, we'll discuss about the hyperlinks. Then discussing about the course goal, we'll discuss that how to insert the hyperlinks. How to insert a hyperlink to an email address, how to open and test a hyperlink, how to remove the hyperlink. More we'll discuss about the hyperlinks that how to insert it to another slide and how to insert a hyperlink to another file. Then we'll discuss about the action buttons. So let's proceed and first we'll discuss about inserting the hyperlinks. Now suppose if you want to insert a hyperlink, then what do you have to do? First select the text or the image on which you want to create a hyperlink. Suppose in this case we are, I'm selecting this text, insert a hyperlink. Now I need to right click on this and select hyperlink. Now it asks you to enter the address here that you if you want to link any file or if you want to provide any address here. So uh, let me give an address here. Now suppose I want to link that text to this particular site edupediaworld.com. I have copied this entire address and now in my presentation I'll paste the address here and I'll click on OK. Now you'll get an underline. It means that we have uh, we have added this text to the we have provided some hyperlink to this particular text. Now suppose if I'm going to run the slideshow from the current slide. And now you can see here insert a hyperlink. This is shown in some different color. Now, if you place your cursor here, it's showing you the address. If you place your cursor anywhere else on the slide, you won't get that symbol. If you place the cursor once again here, it shows you a hand, a pointing finger. Once you click on this text, it will take you to the website. You just have to click here and it's going to open up that particular site. So in this way, you can provide any website address, any, any internet address you can provide here. If you want to open up any site, any content you want to show, you can just provide the address here in this way. So all right, this is how we can open the pages through the presentation. Now let's go back to the presentation. The next is inserting a hyperlink to an email address. Now, this is the text on which I want to provide a hyperlink. I have selected the text. Now right click on this and again select hyperlink. Click here. On the left hand side you will get certain option. Place in this document, create new document, existing file or web pages. You need to select email address. Now you need to provide an email address here. Let's say if I provide my email address here. You can provide the subject also here. Recently used email address you can provide here and then click on OK. Now we have linked this text with the email address. Now suppose if we are going to run the slideshow.
Now, if you place your cursor here, it shows you the mail address here. Once you click on this, it's opening the Outlook now, Microsoft Outlook 2010 setup. Generally, for the official purpose, we need to configure the Outlook. We used to configure the official mails with the Outlook here. Yeah. Currently, I haven't configured any mail with the Outlook now. So if you have configured that, once you click on this, it's going to open up the Microsoft Outlook. And it show you a box where you will get the email address and below you can write the text and you can click on send. Currently, because Outlook is not configured, that's why it's showing me a message that do you want to, this is the startup message actually, that do you want to configure the mail address with your Outlook. So this is how you can link hyperlink to an email address also. Now next is to open and test a hyperlink. Now how do you open and test it? Now suppose as we have applied the hyperlink here, you have to, you can even click anywhere. Suppose we have clicked here, right click and select open hyperlink. You can click and it will show you that what's going to happen if you're going to click on this message during the slideshow. Now the second is insert a hyperlink. We already applied a hyperlink here. Let's right click here and click on open hyperlink. Now it will take you to the Azubedia world site because this is the this particular text is hyperlink to this site. So this is how you can test that whether your hyperlinks are working or not means instead of going to the slideshow and then try to check you do have an option available that right after applying the hyperlink here right click on the text or on the image right click and click on open hyperlink then it show you that what's gonna happen if you're going to click on the hyperlink all right so now next we have uh, is to remove the hyperlink as we have applied two hyperlinks here now suppose we want to remove both of them you need to reselect the text now right click on this and select remove hyperlink the text is back now there's no it's not um, connected to any hyperlink to any other file or to some email address it's a normal text that you can read now again you need to select the text right click and remove hyperlink that's it so this is how you can insert a hyperlink you can um, you can hyperlink a particular text or an image to an email address you can open and test a hyperlink and you can remove the hyperlink from the slide All right, so next we'll discuss about more hyperlinks. Uh, the first option is to insert a hyperlink to another slide. Now, how do you do it? Select the text. We have a presentation with the multiple slides. And now I want to hyperlink to another slide. I need to right click here, select hyperlink. And then you need to select this option, place in this document. Click here. Now you'll get a list of all these slides which are there in your presentation. Now suppose I want to link it to the uh, previous slide, the hyperlinks where this is written. Now click on OK. This is linked now. Now let me show you what, what's uh, going to happen if I select this during the slideshow. Right click and click on open hyperlink. It will take you to the third slide to the hyperlink which we have selected. So whenever you're going to run the slideshow, this is the hyperlink available. Once you click on this, it will show you the third slide where hyperlink is written. Let me click here. Now, it has taken you to the third slide. All right. The next we'll discuss is to insert the hyperlink to another file. 
Now select the text. Right click and click on hyperlink. Now you have an option here existing file or web pages. You need to click here and it show you a list of the files available or you can browse the file from any location. We have a lot of options available. You can link this to, to any other file also like suppose I have a, a movie here animation independence day a very small uh, movie for few minutes select this and click on ok now I have linked this to another file now if I select open hyperlink So what it's going to do is, it's going to play that movie once we click this. Okay. Let me show you the slideshow also. It's here. Now once you click on this to insert the hyperlink to another file, click here. It's giving a warning actually that the file that may contain the virus. So do you want to play that or not? Just a message warning. Can click on OK and now the video has been played. So that's it. So this is how we can insert a hyperlink to another file and to another slide also. So that was it for today's session. In the next session, we'll discuss about inserting the action buttons. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.